Welcome to Selvi's Maths Capsule. Here we are going to discuss about the splitting field of a polynomial. Suppose k or f be a field extension and alpha is an element of k and assume that alpha is algebraic over f. Then alpha has a minimal polynomial say m of x over f. By definition f of alpha contains alpha. That means that f of alpha contains a root of the polynomial m of x. But it is not guaranteed that this f of alpha contains all roots of m of x. For example, let alpha is equal to cube root of 2. And we know that the minimal polynomial of cube root of 2 is x cube minus 2. Let omega be the primitive cube root of unity. Then omega we can write as minus 1 plus root of minus 3 upon 2. Therefore, the other two roots of x cube minus 2 are omega cube root of 2 and omega square cube root of 2. And because omega is a complex number, neither of omega cube root of 2 or nor omega square cube root of 2 are in Q alpha. But the extension Q of cube root of 2 root of minus 3 contains all the roots of M of X because this field contains root of minus 3 and cube root of 2. So we show that there is no proper subfield of Q cube root of 2 root of minus 3 contains all the roots of M of X. Suppose K is a proper subfield of Q cube root of 2 root of minus 3 and contains all the roots of M of X. So therefore, cube root of 2 and omega cube root of 2 are in K. Therefore, omega cube root of 2 upon cube root of 2 which is also in K that means omega is in K. Which means that minus 1 plus root of minus 3 over 2 also belongs to K which means that my root of minus 3 is in K because minus 1 and 2 are in K because Q is contained in K. Also, uh, therefore, the field K contains the field Q and the elements Q root of 2 and the root of minus 3. But we know that Q Q root of 2 square root of minus 3 is the smallest extension of Q containing cube root of 2 and root of minus 3. Therefore, both the field k and q of cube root of 2 root of minus 3 are same. So, here we found a field q cube root of 2 root of minus 3 which contains all the roots of the minimal polynomial m of x of cube root of 2 and there is no proper subfield of this field to contain all the root of m of x. Such field has great importance in Galois theory and such fields we call it as a splitting field. So let us see the formal definition of a splitting field. An extension field K or a field F is a splitting field of some polynomial effects if effects factored completely into linear factors in K and does not factor completely in any proper subfield of K. This means that if fx is a non-constant monic polynomial over f, then the splitting field of fx over f is an extension k of f such that over k f of x factored into linear factors. That means that f of x you can write it as x minus alpha 1 into x minus alpha 2 into and so on x minus alpha n where each alpha is in k. And this k is generated by the roots of f of x over f. That means that k is equal to f of alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha n. Because alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha n are the roots of f of x over k. So the following theorem says that for each polynomial f x in f x has a splitting field. 
So let F be a field. If Fx belongs to Fx, then you can find an extension K over F, which is a splitting field of F of X. Let us see the proof of this theorem. We prove this theorem by induction on the degree of f of x, say the degree of the f of x is equal to n. So when n is equal to 1, the degree of f x is equal to 1, that means that all the coefficients are in f, therefore you can take the splitting field of f of x as k, uh, f itself. Suppose n is greater than 1. So if all the irreducible factors of fx over f are of degree 1, then the polynomial fx split over f completely. That means that fx you can write it as x minus alpha 1 into and so on into x minus alpha n. Then where each alpha is r in f, then f itself is the splitting field of f of x. If this does not happen, that means fx does not split completely over f, then at least one of the irreducible factor of f of x, say p of x, which has degree at least 2. So, by Kronecker's theorem, there exists an extension e over f which contains a root alpha of p of x. So, over E, we can write fx as x minus alpha into f1 of x, where f1 of x is a polynomial of degree n minus 1, and f1 of x is a polynomial over E. Therefore, by induction assumption, there is an extension E1 of E containing all the roots of f1 of x. But all the roots of f of x are alpha and all the roots of f1 of x. Since alpha is an E which contained in E1, therefore E1 contains all the roots of f of x. Let k is equal to the intersection of all the subfields of E1 containing f and that field, that subfield contains all the roots of f of x. Then definitely k is a field and which is the smallest field containing all the roots of f of x which means that k is a splitting field of f of x. So, any polynomial, any non-constant polynomial has a splitting field. Let us see some examples. What is the splitting field of x square minus 2? As we have seen that the splitting field of x square minus 2 is generated by the roots of x square minus 2. Now, what are the roots of x square minus 2? The roots are root 2 and minus root 2. Therefore, the splitting field is q root 2 minus root 2, which is same as q root 2. And the degree of the extension q root 2 over q is 2, because the minimal polynomial of root 2 is x square minus 2, which is of degree 2. And this 2, it says equal to, we can treat it as 2 factorial. And the degree of the polynomial is 2, and the degree of the extension is 2 factorial. From the previous example, we have seen that the splitting field of x cube minus 2 is q, cube root of 2, root of minus 3. Note that the degree of the extension q, cube root of 2, root of minus 3 over q is the product of the degree of the extension q, cube root of 2, root of minus 3 over q, cube root of 2 and q of cube root of 2 over q and which is same as 2 into 3, which is equal to 6, which is equal to 3 factorial. That means, if we consider the splitting field of x cube minus 2, which is a polynomial of degree 3, and the degree of this uh, splitting field over q is 6, which is equal to 3 factorial. So, in these examples, we have seen that the degree of the splitting field for a polynomial of degree n over q is exactly n factorial. But this is the maximum possible degree. So, if we have effects with the degree n, 
then we can adjoin one root of fx at a time and obtain the splitting field after adjoining all n roots. That means the splitting field is generated by the roots of f of x. The next theorem says that the splitting field of a polynomial of degree n over f is of degree at most n factorial over f. Let us see the proof of this. Let fx be a polynomial of degree n. Let us assume that n is greater than or equal to 1. So we can find an extension e1 of f containing a root alpha 1 of f of x. So f of alpha 1 is equal to 0. And therefore the minimal polynomial mx of alpha 1 divides f of x. Therefore the degree of the minimal polynomial m of x is less than or equal to n. Therefore the degree of the extension f alpha 1 over f is of degree n. If the multiplicity of alpha 1 is r which is greater than or equal to 1 then over e1 f of x we can write it as or factor it as x minus alpha 1 raised to r into g of x. And alpha 1 is not a root of g of x. So therefore the degree of g of x definitely less than or equal to n minus 1 and g of x is a polynomial over e1. If g of x is non constant we can find an extension of f of alpha 1 containing a root alpha 2 of g of x. Then the extension f of alpha 1 alpha 2 over f of alpha 1 has degree at most n minus 1. Therefore, the degree of the extension f of alpha 1 alpha 2 over f is equal to the degree of the extension f of alpha 1 alpha 2 over f of alpha 1 into the degree of the extension f of alpha 1 over f which is less than or equal to n into n minus 1. Continue inductivity and using the multiplicativity of extension of degrees, we get the extension of degree at most n factorial containing all the roots of f of x. That means that if k is a splitting field of f of x, then the degree of the extension k over f is less than or equal to n factorial. But this bound is not always achieved. In the previous two examples, we have seen that this bound achieved. See, for example, consider the polynomial fx is equal to x raised to 4 plus 4 over q. Then fx is not uh, irreducible, that means it is reducible and can be factored as f of x is equal to x square plus 2x plus 2 into x square minus 2x plus 2. And these factors are irreducible and the four roots of f of x are plus minus 1 plus minus i. Therefore, the splitting field of f of x is generated by the roots, the four roots plus minus 1 plus minus i and that means it is um, the splitting field of f of x is q of plus minus 1 plus minus i and which is equal to q of i. And the minimal polynomial of i is x square plus 1 and therefore the degree of the extension qi over q is 2 and which is less than or equal to 4 factorial. That means the degree of the polynomial is 4 and the maximum degree of the extension or, or degree of the um, the splitting field over the q is 4 factorial. Here we have seen that that degree of the extension is 2. Let us see another example that f of x is equal to x square minus 3 into x square minus 5. Then the roots are plus minus root 3 plus minus root 5. Therefore the splitting field is generated by plus minus root 3 and plus minus root 5 and which is same as q of root 3 root 5 and which has degree 4, only 4 over q. And the degree of the polynomial is 4. And this degree is much lesser than 4 factorial. So, another example, let fx is equal to x square minus 5x plus 6. Then this fx, you can write it as x minus 2 into x minus 3 and 2 and 3 are in q. That means fx split completely over q. Therefore, q itself is the splitting field of f. For example, fx is equal to x square plus 1. Then fx, you can write it as x minus i into x plus i. Therefore, the roots are plus minus i. 
Therefore, the splitting field of F over Q is generated by the roots I and minus I. Therefore, the splitting field of X square plus 1 is Q of I minus I, which is same as Q of I. So, let Fx consider another example. Let Fx is equal to X raised to 6 minus 2. Let alpha is equal to 6th root of 2. Then alpha is the only positive real root of Fx. Let omega be the primitive sixth root of unity. That means omega raised to 6 is 1 and no lesser power of omega is 1. So, the other five roots of or all the roots of f of x are alpha, which is same as sixth root of 2, omega alpha, omega square alpha, omega cube alpha, omega raised to 4 alpha and omega raised to 5 alpha. So let K be the splitting field of f of x. So therefore K contains all the roots. So in particular it contains alpha and omega alpha. Therefore K contains omega alpha upon alpha. That means omega is in K. And you can see that all these roots are product or power of alpha and omega. Therefore the splitting field of K is generated by these six elements and which is same as Q, alpha, omega. But the minimal polynomial of omega over Q is what? 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube plus x raised to 4 plus x raised to 5. And because omega is not in Q of alpha, the degree of the extension Q of alpha omega over Q alpha is 5, which is the degree of the minimal polynomial of omega. And therefore, the degree of the extension Q of alpha omega over Q is equal to Q of the degree of the extension Q of alpha omega over Q alpha into the degree of the extension Q alpha over Q, which is same as 5 times 6, which is equal to 30, and which is much lesser than 6 factorial. So, you have to take care while computing the splitting field of a polynomial because we only know that the degree of the, minimum, the extension of a splitting field over the base field is always less than or equal to n factorial where n is the degree of the polynomial. In the next session, we discuss about the uniqueness of splitting field. Thank you for learning with the cell-based maths capsule. Thank you.